there's a good chance that Hillary Clinton is going to be the next president of the United States. You think that she could be the first president to disclose the truth about UFOs. Why? I think that Hillary Clinton may be the first president ever to disclose exactly what's going on. And she's given a number of indications that indicate that she's the person that's going to do it. For example, when um, she was talking to Damon Steer, she actually pointed out in 2007, when she was asked about UFOs, she said, I'm very interested in that. And she said, do you know that the most requested item at the Clinton Library has got to do with UFOs? And that's what sort of dragged me back because I was doing consciousness. I was interested in the presence anymore. And I got dragged back in because I went, I thought I was banging my head against the wall. And suddenly here's the first lady, this woman who's probably going to be the next president, actually knows that the most requested item in the Clinton Library is UFOs. And she actually told somebody about it. So I'm thinking that drags me back in. But she has, has made a number of statements that indicate that she's going to do it. For example, there's a story and I fight against it in the book. I, I write a whole section at the end of the book, a long section of the book, which says, does the president know? And a lot of people, most people in the UFO community will say, no, the president's a puppet. He doesn't know what's going on. It, you know, there's, there's nothing going on. And so the, one of the main people that was putting that story out was Bill Clinton. And Bill Clinton says, you know, I tried to get this material and I wasn't able to get it. And I'm embarrassed. I tried to get it. And, this sort of, and he plays this denial role. There's a government inside the government and I don't control it and all this sort of stuff. And I'm just like this puppet guy. So when Hillary Clinton is asked, when she's on the Jimmy Kimmel show, you can see she's got a prepared answer. He proposes the, the president doesn't know. He said, well, I had your husband here on the show and I asked him about this. And you said you're going to release it, but I asked your husband and he said he didn't know. So what do you got to say to that? And she starts the answer and everybody starts laughing. So she stops the answer, waits for the crowd. And then she goes right in there and says it with no hemming and hawing. She says, well, I'm going to do it again, or I'm going to look again. I'm going to do the investigation again. She's very authoritative. She's going to do this as if like this is planned. And that indicates to me when you hear Bill talk about it, it's, well, we don't really know where to go. And the other thing that there's a number of other indications, John Podesta has talked about it a number of times in his, every time the story seems to stall, John Podesta will come up and he'll say, she takes a look, she, she'll have the material in front of her and she has to decide what she can release. And he's talked about it before. You have to weigh national security versus unthinking secrecy. This is what he calls it, unthinking secrecy. So he's not saying she's got to go and find the Wizard of Oz. She's got to find the evil cabal to find out where the documents are. He just says she has to look at the material and disclose as much as you can. And then when Hillary talks about it, she also just says, she said, I'm very interested in this. She's talking to this New York City radio station. She says, well, if I can, you know, I get the, I get the material. She said, if I can get agreement and it's not national security. Now, the important part is if I can get agreement, which means she knows what the process is. 